Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, let's take an in-depth look at probably one of the most performance-oriented luxury sedans on the market today, combining Maserati luxury and Ferrari performance. The 2009 Maserati Quattroporte S. And this is going to be a full and in-depth tour of the Quattroporte. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique features on the interior as well as exterior. And a special thanks and shout out go out to Foreign Cars Italia of Charlotte, North Carolina for allowing me to come down and film this Quattroporte S. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. The exterior color is a metallic gray known as Grigio Premio with a sumptuous full brown leather interior and light tan color contrast piping found throughout. Beautiful low tone exhaust note. The interior of the Quattroporte is an absolute work of art, combining the best of luxury features as well as styling, leather, and real wood trim. And just to highlight on a couple of the features, this particular one actually comes with the luxury package as well as the cold weather package, so it has navigation, the heated and ventilated seats, as well as just about every bell and whistle you could put on the vehicle. Beautiful thick leather wrapped steering wheel with perforations going down and across the side, thick grips for your hand as well as grip extensions up top. Come standard with a six-speed sequential automatic gearbox with manual shiftability down below or via the aluminum paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel. Leather and wood wrap with the Maserati crest tapering into a leather shift boot. Also known as electronic parking brake, pull up to activate, then put your foot on the brake, pull up again to deactivate. And so, so I cut on the headlamps, they're automatic, the front and rear fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Both the front windows are fully automatic up and down, while the back windows are just automatic down. Also notice, the glass is dual pane for increased sound deadening in the Quattroporte's interior. And let's go and check out the exterior, shall we? For 2009, the Maserati Quattroporte S redefines what it means to be a performance-oriented luxury sedan. Its drivability is further enhanced with a more powerful engine, beefier Brembo brakes, and a retuned suspension to top it off, but overall, for all Quattroporte models, they received a quite tasteful refresh for 2009, which include new front and rear clips, a new, more prominent vertical grille highlighted by Chrome in the S model that briskly bridges the styling gaps between it and its Gran Turismo sibling, as well as new bi-xenon headlamps accented with LEDs. The beautiful and unique Pininfarina body evokes both style and elegance. It's actually slightly longer than a 7 Series BMW and boasts understated looks with a hint of Maserati heritage of performance and engineering. As far as the wheels for the Quattroporte S, it features 19-inch dark gray powder-coated aluminum alloy units with 245-40 tires in the front and 285-35 tires in the rear. A new lightweight braking system was also introduced in the Quattroporte S for 2009 with a unique collaboration between Brembo and Maserati combining iron and aluminum with these unique spokes in the middle that basically made the 14 inch large ventilated discs in the front weigh as much as the standard steel 13 inch rotors on the base Quattroporte, with also saving money in the production cost. 
Now with that more robust braking system, it definitely needs it to compensate for the increased power thanks to a new 4.7 liter V8 that's also shared with the Gran Turismo S. That new engine replaces the base model 400 horsepower 4.2 liter V8 that comes in the standard model. But the increase in power isn't just thanks to a new engine and the handling isn't just thanks to an all new braking system. Some of the increased power aside from the engine comes with a new perforated foil catalytic converter design that basically allows the exhaust flow more evenly through the system with significantly reduced back pressure. Now as far as the suspension and weight distribution, the balance is almost perfect at around 49% in the front and 51% in the rear. The S features an adjustable dampener system with normal and sport modes that are firmer than the standard Quattroporte's base suspension. It isn't until you get up to the GTS trim that you get a tuned up suspension that's actually non-adjustable. Overall length is just over 200 inches with a height of 56.6 inches and a width of 74.6 inches. Total curb weight is right around 4,400 pounds. And we're gonna pop the hood. Like I said, standard Quattroporte models come with a 4.2 liter V8. Quattroporte S has an upgraded 4.7 liter dual overhead cam 32 valve V8 with aluminum block and heads and port fuel injection. Total horsepower output is up from 400 to 425 brake horsepower at 7,000 RPM and 361 foot-pounds of torque at 4750 RPM. 0-60 to 60 time is around 4.8 seconds with a quarter mile time of 13.5 seconds around 107 miles an hour. Top speed is also a drag limited to 173 miles an hour. Features a fully independent suspension with beefy front and rear stabilizer bars with double wishbones in the front and the back, and on premium gas with a 23.8 gallon tank, miles per gallon ratings are around 11 city, 18 highway. Beautiful, elegant power plant. Like I was saying earlier, the interior of the Quattroporte is an absolute work of art the finest craftsmanship, materials, as well as luxury features. The entire door panels are completely padded. If your lower store is down below in carpeted portion, large slabs of wood paneling coming down, rib pattern going across with the color contrast stitching, as well as the stitched armrest. All of your power windows are located here, as you saw earlier, your window lockout, as well as deactivating the auto tilt and memory seat recall upon opening the vehicle. Aluminum handles, and your power mirrors with power folding function. Sumptuous bucket seats up front with your full power adjustments located down below here, three person memory, four way power lumbar adjustment, heated and ventilated function, as well as active massage to reduce fatigue on those long journeys. Color contrast stitching and the perforated leather coming up the center of the seat, the side airbags, adjustable seat belts, and the stamped Maserati logo on the headrest. Logo door sills, aluminum kick plate off to the side. The dash is also wrapped in the same sumptuous leather that you find throughout the interior, even for the onboard diagnostic system, where it has instructions to gain access from this little panel here. All of that is actually stitched into the leather. Not to mention a full power tilting telescoping steering wheel. And an Alcantara headliner. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Gotta love that free revving Ferrari power plant. Shut her up. 
nice and solid. Comes standard with a full premium Bose surround sound system with in-dash navigation on this LCD display. Alcantara wrapped A-pillars, as well as visors with integrated garage home link. In the overhead console, houses your microphone for a hands-free Bluetooth telephone, tire pressure monitoring system, and your full power sunroof, where you can dial it however far you want it open. Interior illumination, and an auto-dimming rear view mirror. The wood flowing down the center console is absolutely beautiful. Off to the side here, you have a lighter portion, giving a little color contrast to it. Nicely flows into the center. You can also notice the leather coming down the console itself. As far as the steering wheel, houses your radio controls, hands-free telephone, and voice commands. Help. Say, scan, next station, previous station, next category, previous category, or tune to, and a station. Cancel. Automatic wiper controls, cruise control, and a beautiful Maserati traditional gauge cluster with the blue background. If you have your fuel off to the left, temperature off to the right, and in the center you have a heads up display. It's controlled by that little stack there. It's your parking sensors, trip computers, tire pressure, climate data and comfort. Pretty simple. Fully independent dual zone automatic climate control. Your independent temperature adjustment, independent zone adjustment for each side, and your fan speed. If your front defrost, rear defrost, and one touch automatic. As far as the infotainment system, this is essentially the main screen for the radio. You control your presets from the buttons here, so it's actually not a touch screen unit. Various other driver commands such as the sport mode, traction, parking sensors, lock and unlock, and sunshade controls. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that. A little sub menu. Real time traffic updates through satellite radio. Telephone screen located here. Navigation. Full map, destination input, switching between your different radio modes as well as other media options with your in-dash CD player, USB input. Those are essentially a lot of the basic features of the nav unit, just in short. Beautiful, elegant analog clock, front and center up in the dash. Nicely laid out console, stitched pattern here. It also doubles as a beverage cooler. If you sit two cups in there, this will close, form a nice tight seal, and it'll blow cold air in to keep everything chill. Illuminated cup holders, as well as your power outlet. So it's going to shut her down. Check out the back seat. I also think I forgot to mention on the front door, but there's no actual handle. There's a little button that you press in there, and it automatically pops it. The back seat is practically as sumptuous as the front seat. Similarly styled, curvaceous doors in the rear, with plenty of wood and leather. The seats are also fully adjustable. In order to activate, you actually have to have the power on for the vehicle. They'll slide out. Tilt down, tilt back up, and come back in. Almost gives it sort of like limousine style seating. Little center console, housing your air vents, plus your lock and unlock, as well as sunshade power as I showed you earlier with a little ashtray.
leather grab handles, coat hooks, rear illumination, rear side curtain airbags, full link console with cup holders. Also, in more true limousine style fashion, there's a button here to move up the passenger side seat. So if you want to recline back in that seat over there, you'll have a little bit more room than you would on the driver's seat. It's also illuminated with a 12 volt power outlet. Beautiful. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? As far as the trunk space, it's around 15.9 cubic feet. It's not an enormous trunk, but it gets the job done. Fully carpeted. Sorry for that awful glare. We have a little side storage pocket there. And down below, we have more storage. Same power adjustments on the passenger seat that you find on the drivers. Electronically actuated glove box. Nice amount of room in your iPod integration. A beautifully crafted luxury sedan with the heart of a thoroughbred. It's quite a unique combination of Italian engineering and luxury. Definitely what makes the Quattroporte stand out at the rest of the market. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the 2009 Maserati Quattroporte S. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.